good morning students in previous classes we have learnt about what is crystal lattice what is unit cells okay and two dimensional arrangement of crystal lattice now what is unit cell and we have given a definition for unit cell also we know basically unit cells are divided into two types how many types two types number 1 that is primitive primitive unit cell or second one is centered unit cell centered unit cell what is mean by primitive unit cells means if we take any unit cell in that unit cell the lattice points means the particles of a solid locates means they locates on the corners of the unit cell only not on the faces of the unit cell not on the middle of the unit cell such crystal uh, unit cell is called as primitive unit cell whereas what is centered unit cell centered unit cell means in a unit cell the lattice point are the constituent particles of a solid they locates on the corner of the unit cell as well as on the faces or middle of the unit cell such unit cells are called as centered unit cell these centered unit cell again divided into three types what are those three types unit cells of centered unit cell first one is body centered body centered and second one is face centered and third one is end centered end centered we have learned clearly what is body center what is face center what is end center with example now very very important suppose if we want to measure any length we have to measure it is in meters centimeters okay so means that is a meter centimeter is a parameter now see when we take a unit cell what are the parameter for unit cell that is very very important what are the unit cell means parameter of the unit cell means how we measure unit cells that is very very important now if we take one unit cell now i am going to draw a unit cell now see this unit cell so if we take a cubic unit cell now see this is a cubic unit cell i'm drawing here now in this cubic unit cell how many corners are there eight corners are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now see this is one length this is another length and this is another length so we can measure this as a b c understand and the angle three angles are there 1 2 3 okay 1 2 3 these are the length a b c understand so this is all let us see alpha beta and gamma alpha beta and gamma okay no need to be uh, follow a can write here also b can write here also c can write here also that is not uh, mandatory that we have to write a here only and b we write here only c we write here only no need to be uh confused regarding this one you can write anywhere but we have to show understand so like that we have to measure means the length of the unit cell can be measured in various parameters so these are the parameter a b c are which shows the length of the uh length breadth and height of the unit cells understand because unit cell present in three dimension when the unit cell actually uh, we can represent it in three dimension definitely we have to take height also when coming to the cubic 
Cubic means what? The length and the breadth and the height of the unit cell becomes equal. That means A, A, A means A, B, C is all also become equal to the A. That means we take together as A. Now alpha, beta, gamma. So this also becomes equal. Means alpha is also become 90 degree, beta is also become 90 degree, gamma is also become 90 degree for cubic. Understand? So these are the parameter. Now we have learned, just I have told you that in my previous classes, unit cells are divided into basically seven types and further they divided into 14 types means that 14 types of unit cell are called as previous lattices but the basic unit cells means depend on the structures according to their arrangement these are basically in seven types very very important these are most of the questions from entrance examination come from this one so you have to in textbook it is not uh, follows uh, as i'm going to write here so for your convenience i make a list here means first one if you take first cubic cubic second one rhombohedral rhombohedral and third one tetragonal gonal fourth one hexagonal fourth one is hexagonal fifth one rom orthorhombic rhombic orthorhombic sixth one monoclinic And seventh one, triclinic. Triclinic. Understand? These are the seven types of unit cells. So why I have taken first cubic? Why I have taken first cubic? And next rhombohedral, tetrahedral, hexagonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic means according to the parameter. Parameter we have learned now. I am dividing this into three groups. I am dividing this into three groups. So, last we write examples. Now, see here. For this cubic and rhombohedral. Understand? For this cubic and rhombohedral, see here. The parameters means length, height and breadth. That is which we have shown by A, B, C. A is equal B is equal C for this also. A is equal B is equal C means this three are becomes equals. This three are become equals and the angles that is the angles alpha is equal beta is equal gamma is equal 90 for cubic and alpha is equal beta is equal gamma is, is does not is equal 90 for rhombic okay so this one and next one is tetragonal so how the parameter changes in tetragonal structure now see here it's very simple a is equal b does not equal c a is equal b does not equal c understand means a and b becomes equal in this both of these two whereas c is not equal to the a and b understand now alpha is equal beta is equal gamma is equal 90 and for hexagonal alpha is equal beta is equal 90 and gamma is equal not 90 it is 120 it is 120 now whereas orthorhombic for this three why i have keep this three into the specifically in this category because there is a specific distinction for this one that is not a 
not B, not C becomes equal. These three are unequal. Means breadth is also different, length is also different, height is also different for this three. That is the reason I have divided this three to into one group. Now for this orthonormy, alpha is equal, beta is equal, gamma is equal, 90 degrees. And for this, alpha and gamma is equal 90 degrees but beta is equal does not equal 90 degrees understand beta does not equal to 90 degrees now see here and try clinic for this the angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma this 3 does not equal to 90 means this three angles not equal to one another as well as not equal to 90 degrees. Very simple, these are the types. See here, in cubic and rhombohedral, all the A, B, C, lengths, breadths and height becomes equal. And in tetragonal and hexagonal, A and B becomes equal, but C is not equal to A and B. These two categorize into one category. Next, orthorhombic, monoclinic and triclinic. A, B, C, this three parameter mean length, breadth and height are not equal to one another. That is the reason I have keep this three into one category. And bond angles various like this. Example for this are suppose if you take cubic. For this uh, example is copper. For such type of unit cell present in copper and for this rhombic is cinnabar cinnabar and for this tetragonal white tin tin arsenic tin okay next for hexagonal you know graphite in pencil we use graphite we have learned graphite example for covalent or network solid it is the exceptional that even covalent or network solid not conduct the electricity but Graphite being a covalent or network solid, it conducts the electricity. That is the exception point. And next one, orthorhombic. For this, you have learned that P block in that 16 group element, if you go through clearly the allotropic nature of sulfur, in that there are two types of sulfurs are there. One is orthorhombic sulfur. Orthorhombic. Sulfur and monoclinic sulfur. Monoclinic sulfur. Orthorhombic sulfur, mono. How many of you studied carefully that topic? Means that is 16 group. So you can easily uh, remember this one orthorhombic sulfur and monoclinic. These are the forms of the sulfur. Next. For triclinic, we can take example as K2Cr2O7, potassium dichromate. So, in class, for the topics we clearly learn what is orthorhombic sulfur, what is mono uh, clinic sulfur, and how we prepare K2Cr2O7, what is its property, what is the oxidation state. So, see, students, it is very, very important that we have learned what is unit cell means the smallest unit and the complete units of the crystal at is three dimensional unit means a smallest and complete three dimensional structure of crystal lattice is called as unit cells and this unit cell having specific parameters means their length and their breadth and their height can measure by using different uh, symbols and their angles also okay so we express in different uh, uh, letters uh, means different codes such like alpha, beta and gamma. So this unit cell basically are how many types? This unit cell basically of seven types. What are they? Cubic first one, next rhombohedral and tetragonal, hexagonal and next four completed and the fifth one is uh, orthorhombic, next monoclinic and triclinic and example for follows as in this sequence copper first one is and cinnabar and next one is white tin 
एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज ग्राफाइट ऑर्थोरॉमिक सल्फर मोनोक्लिनिक सल्फर एंड के टू सी आर टू ओ सेवन पोटासियम डाइक्रोमेन दीज आर दी एग्जाम्पल अगेन मीन्स अगेन वॉट आर द फोर्टीन ब्रेवियस लैटिस एम पर्टिकुलरली टेकिंग दिस क्लास इज ओनली फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल बेसिकली यूनिट सेल्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री टाइप सपोज वी कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल एज एम सपोज वी कैन टेक एग्जाम्पल सपोज इफ आई कंसिडर एज सपोज वन कैंडिडेट मीन्स वन कप कपल्स अंडरस्टैंड सपोज वी टेक एन एक्स how many types of indian cricket teams we know indian cricket team is there how many types of indian cricket team are there so international cricket team is there for uh, boys for girls again cricket teams are one for india behalf of india one team plays for boys again if you go for for boys one team for girls one team under 19 one team okay under 19 one team and under uh, 16 one team okay like that there are different types are there understand so these are the different types so one minute students okay so again these seven unit cell divided into further unit cells what are those unit cell so the board is actually came out so i am holding like this i will continue it for 5 minutes now see here very simple means this cubic unit cell again divided into three types cubic divided into three types how many types This cubic divided into three types. Next, this orthorhombic divided into four types. Understand? This monoclinic divided into two types, and this tetragonal divided into two types. Understand? Now count total. How many fourteen lattices came are not? Just check. How many are there? Fourteen came are not. tetragonal how many two now see here three and one four and this two six seven and four eleven eleven thirteen and fourteen means this cubic have that different types of unit cell what are those different types of unit cell means cubic has simple unit cells such like primitive unit cell means those unit cell having particles on corner 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 on eight corner eight particle present means cubic has primitive unit cell as well as this cubic has okay students this has body centered unit cell means corner particles present as well as eight particle present as well as center this is center center also one particle present this is called as body center and face center there are six faces are there okay and on this six faces uh, okay 1 2 3 On eight corners, eight particles present, and six faces: face one, face two, face three, face four, face five, face six. On six faces, six atoms present. So, see here: one cubic unit cell. Basically, unit cell are seven types. That is, in first one is cubic unit cell. This cubic unit cell again divided into three types: simple cubic unit cell, body centered unit cell, and face centered cubic unit cell like that there is no different types of rhombohedral unit cell but tetragonal unit cell has two types what are those two types primitive primitive as well as body centered unit cell whereas rhombic has four types that is 
प्रिमिटिव यूनिट सेल बॉडी सेंटर यूनिट सेल प्रिमिटिव यूनिट सेल बॉडी सेंटर यूनिट सेल फेस सेंटर यूनिट सेल अनदर वन इज एंड सेंटर यूनिट सेल इन प्रीवियस क्लास यू सी द लेक्चर एंड सेंटर यूनिट सेल मींस ऑन एट कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द यूनिट सेल एट आटम्स लोकेट्स एज वेल एज ऑन टू ऑपोजिट फेसेस आउट ऑफ सिक्स फेसेस आटम्स नॉट प्रेजेंट ऑन सिक्स फेसेस ओनली ऑन टू फेसेस व्हिच इज ऑपोजिट टू वन अनदर मींस ओनली प्रेजेंट ऑन टू फेसेस दोस टू फेसेस मस्ट बी ऑपोजिट टू वन अनदर सो इन ऑर्थोरॉमिक देयर आर फोर टाइप्स दिस इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर टाइप्स दैट इज प्रिमिटिव ऑर्थोरॉमिक यूनिट सेल बॉडी सेंटर्ड ऑर्थोरॉमिक यूनिट सेल फेस सेंटर्ड ऑर्थोरॉमिक यूनिट सेल एंड एंड सेंटर्ड ऑर्थोरॉमिक यूनिट सेल एंड मोनोक्लिनिक दिस इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू टाइप्स ऑफ यूनिट सेल प्रिमिटिव यूनिट सेल्स ओके एंड एंड सेंटर यूनिट सेल मींस टोटली हाउ मेनी 3 plus this not divided further 4 plus 2 6 plus this is not divided 6 plus 7 and 4 11 and 2 13 and triclinic 1 how many one totally this is one this is not further divided so we are taking at one this is also one now see here 3 plus 1 4 plus 2 6 7 11 plus 2 13 plus 1 14 now these 14 which is a basic unit cell divided into further different types of unit cell depend on the arrangement of the particles or lattice points on unit cell is divided into 14 type basically depend on structure unit cell divided into seven types cubic and rhombohedral and tetragonal hexagonal okay orthorhombic monoclinic triclinic these are the unit cell primary unit cells means basic unit cell according to their structure further according to their arrangement of lattice points or the constituent particle of the solids unit cell further divided into 14 types all unit cells are not divided in further suppose in cubic unit cell there are three types whereas in rhombohedral there is no division in tetragonal we divided into two types in hexagonal there is no division okay in orthorhombic there are four types of uh, uh, unit cell present and next in a monoclinic there are two types but in triclinic there is no so total together how the arrangement of particle present depend on us these unit cells are divided into 14 unit cell very very important likewise you have to remember very very important these 14 are called as bravius lattices these 14 are called as bravius lattices so in today's class we have learned what are the parameter for unit cells and means length and breadth and height of the unit cell can be shown by a b c and the bond three bond angles of that unit cell can be shown by alpha beta and gamma according to the structure of the unit cell we can divide the unit cell into three types those sorry seven types those seven types are this cubic rhombohedral tetrahedral hexagonal orthorhombic monoclinic and right cleaning again further according to arrangement of the particle this can be divided into 14 types so these 14 types are called as previous lattices okay do good students